Well, daggone, you knew I can't hear the world class theme now without thinking of your stupid ass. So, ever since A Steel has been on here, there's been a lot of stuff about you. And then Cornette came out with that little clip about our clip. So, that even, you know, blew it all up a little bit more. But I, you know, just reading through the comments and stuff, there are a lot of people out there that just almost thought you were not even a real person, just like a character on. Cornette's podcast. Have you gotten any of that? What? Do you have oh any- yeah, I, I can't tell you how many people uh, will you know inbox message me or something and be like, "Are are you a real guy? Are you really licensed to practice law somewhere? We thought you were this character, you know, because Jimmy's got these characters on his podcast, you know, the uh, the landscapers and the contractors and yeah. the people that work for him, you know, and and they've all got these. Uh, names that he gives them and you know this that or the other and and i honestly think a lot of people thought that i i wasn't a a real guy which is mind-blowing to me because i'm i'm just me you know i mean i i'm just you know i'm just a, a a guy here in beckley west virginia blessed to be doing what i've dreamed of doing since i was 14 years old uh who happens to love the sport of professional wrestling uh so but you know, yeah, I've got a law license in the state of West Virginia uh, and have for 25 years. And uh, I've got cases from New York to California right now in about a dozen different states. And, uh, you know, so I, I'm doing well and and I'm 100 percent real. How much business, you don't have to, you know, be specific or anything. How much how much business do you think you get from Cornet's, Cornet's podcast? I mean, oh, is- we, we probably get 10 calls or 10 contacts through the website a week. Easy. That's on really? the low end. Uh, some of the things is just outside of my area of specialty. Uh, you know, Jim makes people believe that I can do anything in the world or like that I specialize in, in everything in the world. And I don't. And, and I try to call. Uh, the the cornet listeners back as as well as I can, uh, you know, just to explain to them or to guide them through the process if I can, if it's a do it yourself kind of thing. And there's lots of stuff in the law people don't realize. There's lots of do it yourself uh, kind of things that you can do. Uh, other things may just be outside of my area of expertise or specialty, and and I tell the people that I'd say anywhere from ten to fifteen uh, a week I'll, I'll get contacted by somebody. So it's been worth it on your uh, sponsorship of the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Were, you, were, you, were you responsible for the uh, theme music or your your commercial music, <laughs> your sponsorship music, the the words, <laughs> any of it? Did you have no, to approve I, it at least? Any? I, I I did not. That was sprung on me, you know. And and I loved world class uh, back in the day, you know. Uh, uh, I, I loved the Von Erics. I'm looking forward to seeing the movie this weekend. And uh, you know, when world class came on ESPN. Man, it might have been 85 or so. But uh and and I have have to say something. I always like to remember my dearly departed uncle, Tommy Dwayne Lee. Uh and Tommy Dwayne, he, he had one of these huge West Virginia wildflower satellite dishes out in his front yard in about 1982, 1983. And Tommy Dwayne would record wrestling for me. Uh from all over the country and bring me like a bag of VHS tapes. So very early on, you know, you're asking about wrestling that we got access to here in West Virginia. My uncle was taping everything from around the country that he could for me. Uh, I probably got to see world-class before it came to ESPN, uh, you know, in in the mid eighties, but that's the world-class theme. I did not approve any of that. (laughs) <laughs> and Brian Last and Jim Cornette just sprung that on me one day, uh, you know, and all of my friends popped. And, you know, lots of people say now, uh, well, daggone you knew I can't hear the world class theme now without thinking of your stupid ass. So I said, get ready, get ready, get ready. I got the dot on. Yeah. I got the info ready, baby. We're going to see so it. Let's do it. I can't right, get right shit now.